The National Federation Party, Fiji's oldest political party, has played a defining role in the independence of Fiji. While the parent bodies of the NFP, the Cane Growers Federation and the Citizens Federation were deeply involved in the sugar industry and calling for common role franchise, it was not until the launch of the Federation Party on the 25th of April 1965 in Lautoka, Fiji, when independence became part of its agenda. Subsequently, Honorable A.D. Patel, who was then the Member for Social Services, the precursor to the position of Minister and elected as the founding leader and national president, led the Federation Party delegation to the Fiji Constitutional Conference in 1965, but to little success. That propelled Honorable Patel and the nine members of the Federation Party to assume the role of the opposition in the Fiji Legislative Council after the general elections of 1966, with Honorable Patel becoming the pioneer leader of the opposition. Temporarily halted by the September 1967 boycott and the subsequent by-elections in September 1968, the colonial authorities persuaded the Alliance Party to enter into meaningful dialogue and consensus building with the Federation Party on the question of independence. The re-election by resounding majority of the nine MPs in the 1968 by-elections gave the party an overwhelming mandate to push for a fair constitution and independence. The journey to our nationhood and freedom after 96 years of colonial rule by the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland gained momentum with the motion at the Federation Party Convention in 1968 by Rewa High Chief Ratu Mosesi Tuisawau, seconded by Tailevu Chief Ratu Julian Tongonivalu, to demand for the independence of Fiji. The motion was carried unanimously. Finally, a bipartisan committee with Honorable Ratu Sir Edward Thakumbau as the chairman was appointed to negotiate the roadmap to independence, but Honorable Patel's sudden death was another blow to the process. Assuming party leadership and strengthening the appeal base of the party with the merger with National Democratic Party, making it the National Federation Party in 1969, Honorable S.M. Koya led a nine-member Federation Party delegation to the Fiji Constitutional Conference in London in 1970. Both Ratu Mosesi Tuisawau and Ratu Julian Tongniwalu attended the conference as observers. It was at Marlborough House in London from April to May where the ruling Alliance Party and the opposition National Federation Party negotiated the independence of Fiji and the 1970 constitution, paving the way forward for a peaceful transition of power. Fiji became a dominion in the British Commonwealth of Nations on the 10th of October 1970, with a colourful ceremony at Albert Park in Suva, where His Royal Highness Prince Charles, the Prince of Wales, representing the monarch, handed over the instruments of independence to our first Prime Minister, the Right Honourable Ratu Sir Kamisesimara. The Fiji flag, affectionately and popularly known as the Noble Banner Blue, designed by Mrs. Tessa McKenzie, was hoisted up the mast for the first time and since then it has become our symbol of pride, unity and freedom. The Fiji Legislative Council, elected in 1966, assumed its new role as the Parliament of Fiji upon independence and the House of Senate was an addition to it. That is when the pioneer six NFP senators, Ratu Mosesi Tuisawau, Ratu Glanville Lalambalavu, Isikeli Nandalo, Harish Sharma, Bakshi Singh Mal and Sarvan Singh took seats in the new house in November 1970. The 1970 constitution of Fiji provided for a secular state, a bill of rights, equal citizenry, mixture of common and communal representation, the entrenchment of group rights, safeguards for an independent judiciary and accountable government, transitional powers and procedures, and separation of powers. It also recognized the roles of our chiefs and the indentured laborers, promoted national unity and harmony among all our people, and aimed at making Fiji a robust democracy. Today, as we mark the Golden Jubilee, 50 years of our independence, celebrating the success of our then leadership, it is time to reflect on our present and define the future. Inheriting the legacy bequeathed by our founding fathers, let us pledge to defend and promote the ideals and principles on which our nationhood was established. Let's remember and thank our founding leaders and their families for their sacrifice, and cherish the vision they shared for a free, democratic, 
just, prosperous and united Fiji. The National Federation Party, which is the only political party to survive and witness the last 50 years of our independent history, is once again ready to lead Fiji into the future, with consistency and integrity uniting the people of Fiji. The leader of the National Federation Party, Honorable Professor Biman Prasad, our National President, Honorable Pio Tikunduandua, party stalwarts and executives, as well as the members of the National Federation Party, wish every citizen of Fiji and person of Fiji descent an inspirational Fiji Day 2020.